Hey, are you looking for that weeknight dinner dish that's gonna just level up the typical old hamburger hot dogs? Well, look no further. We're doing a Moroccan kefta kebab today on the Blackstone Griddle. It's gonna be some good groceries, I guarantee it. Some good groceries. All right, to get started, we're gonna use one pound of 80-20 ground chuck. We're gonna use a quarter cup of diced onion. Try to dice that up real, real fine. And then to that, we're gonna add a quarter cup of parsley. This is a flat leaf parsley, and then a quarter cup of cilantro. That cilantro is gonna make the dish very, very fragrant, very, very flavorful. We're gonna add two teaspoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And let's not forget just a little bit of minced garlic, as well as a good amount of this Blackstone Essentials blend. One thing a lot of these dishes call for is cayenne pepper. I choose to omit cayenne pepper. My family is not a big fan of the heat. So, so if you like heat, feel free to add it in. Now that you got everything in your bowl, mix this very well, similarly to like a meatloaf. You really want to get at it, make sure every little piece has seasoning, make sure it has the herbs, all that kind of great stuff. Ideally, you want this mixture to sit for about 10 minutes. It kind of helps all those spices, all those herbs just kind of bloom. After your meat has been setting for about 10, 15 minutes, now it's time to put it on the skewers. And what I like to do is just take a ball. There's not really no specific weight. Uh, and I just like to start forming it around my skewer and just working it around. Release your inner Play-Doh working cell from back whenever you were younger, or you know, I still play with Play-Doh now. And just kind of roll it around. Just try to make it as uniform as possible, and I know that's hard. So after some massaging, all that kind of good stuff, you will be left with a skewer just like this right here. Hey, I appreciate you watching thus far. If you don't mind, hit that like button, give me a comment, and hit that subscribe. I'd really like to see you around more. Now it's time to get these kebabs cooking. I got a pre-warm griddle here, about 400 degrees. I got everything on low right now. You don't want the griddle at a screaming hot temperature because you don't want it to not cook through. I'm gonna give it about two to three minutes on one side and we're just gonna roll them over to the next. Y'all, if you can smell this right now, it smells amazing. Dang it, boy. Okay, so it's been about two minutes and I'm just gonna give these skewers just a quarter turn and that's the way basically to get the all sides, get a little bit of a crust on it. We're gonna go two minutes on this side and then we're gonna rotate them again. Y'all, our kebabs, they only got about another two to three minutes or so. While that's finishing up, we're gonna come here and we're gonna take some pita bread and we're just gonna warm that up on the black stone. Whenever these are done, nice and toasted up, the kebabs are gonna be great and it's gonna be time to grub. So after about a minute, I'm gonna flip the pita bread. Nice, pillowy, beautiful. On these kebabs, you wanna cook these through and you wanna make sure your internal temperature is you know, about 100 and 145 degrees, something like that. And there's gonna be a little bit of a carryover. And then once they hit that, you're good to go. The kebabs are done. It is time to plate these things up. And this is how we like to plate them here at the Hussey House. I like to lay down a bed of turmeric rice first, and then I like to take the kebabs and just kind of lay those right on top. And then I come here and I, this is just some chopped up cilantro and some chopped up parsley. I just like to church it up a little bit, you know, in case the Johnsons come over, they can't talk trash about our plate not looking all right. Now, guys, don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I normally like to make my own tzatziki, but this store-bought tzatziki I get from the grocery store, local grocery store, it is amazing. So, and I love tzatziki with this. It makes it so nice. It's creamy. It's real flavorful, very vibrant. Feel free to make your own tzatziki if you like. So I like to come here, just get a nice big old dollop of tzatziki right there. We got these nice pillowy pita bread. I'm gonna come here, go down the middle. I'm just gonna make fours. I don't know what the rest of y'all are gonna eat, but this is mine right here. <laughs> now comes the fun part, let's give it a try. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here, grab one of those kebabs. I actually don't wanna mess my plate up right there cause this is beautiful. I can't wait to show that off to the Johnsons. So I got a little bit of the rice, got a kebab, tzatziki. Man, I love tzatziki. It's like my middle name. And then a piece of pita. So the way I like to come in here, I mean, it's all up to you, however you want to do it. But I like to just kind of take it off the skewer like that. And then you can use it as a toothpick later on. Either way, I don't really. Let's give this meat a try. Mm-hmm. The cilantro, the parsley also adds a little bit. Cinnamon and cumin, 
come through. Mm. There's so much flavor packed in this. Now, I am a tzatziki fan, like I said. I like to come in here, a little bit of tzatziki, a little bit of pita. Come in here. Mm. <laughs> Dang it, boy. Y'all, that tzatziki just really brings it up top. It's fresh, clean, vibrant. It's got the cucumber. It's got the dill in it. Dang, it just works beautifully. And the rice, the rice is good too. But the star of the show, definitely the kebab. Y'all, I appreciate you stopping in and giving me a watch. Hey, head on over to the Blackstone Network where you'll see more awesome recipes just like this. Hey, I'm Matt Hussey, and that's some good groceries.